How are you doing, peeps? Well, today I'm here with Eric's laptop. I advised him because he's running. What are you running now? Windows 10. Windows 10. And we're gonna upgrade to Linux today. gonna do we're gonna uh, simply turn on the machine and we're gonna boot from the CD okay the CD is in here or oh, Jaya turn on I think f11 f12 what is boot something like this here f11 it already found the CD so let's take a closer look alrighty so we're booting from the DVD now we just gonna let it boot and um, you will see some little uh, text messages popping up on top in the screen saying error could not find this could not find that don't even worry about it just let it go because these are just uh, yeah I think drivers and stuff that it's uh, looking for and discovering that it's not there so you know it won't have to worry about it and then we will get into the boot logo so uh, now you know that everything just went fine and just wait until we get into the next screen that will ask us if we want to install Ubuntu or if we just want to use it and run it straight from the DVD and this is sometimes very handy for people that lost their hard drive Laptops, computers without a hard drive, you know, are still very fine machines. Just pop in a DVD of Ubuntu or a USB stick with the Ubuntu files on it. And you will be running that computer without a hard drive installed. How is it possible? So, until the next screen, I'm going to get back to you. And we're almost there, peeps. And there is the screen at the left we can try Ubuntu or install it so we are gonna install it we are just gonna hit install and we are gonna go to the next screen up here we can choose our language I think that is very very common uh, we can also if we uh, connect to the internet immediately get uh, the updates and select the updates and select the third party software in the sections below here so you will be able to play a dvd and and listen to music after the installer of ubuntu finished so you won't have go have to go ahead and install codex and all that sort of things you know um if you your wi-fi was not found yet just use a usb stick like this this is having the RT2500 uh, chipset and RT stands for um, Ralink. Okay, so uh, there we are. Um, everything is going the way it should. Up here we just can hit next and select our keyboards and select our drive. If we want to install uh, LVM, we're going to install LVM. We just inserted our password. This LVM... Um, is protecting it's like encrypting your hard drive so the moment you turn on your machine it will ask for a hot uh, for a password and um, yeah in no way you will be able to enter this machine if you don't have a password and yeah the your yeah the drive is encrypted so we're gonna do a LVM um, install we're just going to select these things so we can you know um, encrypt the hard drive also uh, windows 10 was seen as windows 7 in this uh, installation it was saying would you like to place uh, ubuntu side by side with windows 7 but in fact this is windows 10 so ubuntu you must <laughs> update that um, up here we just choose our country and we're gonna make a nice little name here and insert our password again so we're gonna just say here um, to bypass the login screen and here you can see it we're installing Ubuntu now and uh, yeah this is the Ubuntu mate version 
Okay, after some cups of coffees and a little talk, we can restart because everything is installed now. Wi-Fi is also installed. It also got the updates. So it took a little bit longer because we selected, you know, to also uh, check the updates. Don't remove the CD yet. Wait. This is very important because it's writing the Grub uh, bootloader now. If you remove the CD now, the, CD, the, the whole installation failed. It won't boot. So you must really let this go and it will then say to you hit enter to continue, remove the CD, etc, etc. And this is all real time. We are showing it to you. Here it's saying please remove installation media. Done. And hit enter. So that's what we do. We hit enter and the machine will boot and you will find out that it will immediately ask for a password. It will not continue. That is exactly until where you can go and everybody who you know wants to get into your computer, into your files, they will have to enter this part here. So you know we're gonna hit the password. We just hit the password and we hit enter and now the system will boot up the system boot will uh, kinda do some certain little things that uh, it has to do for the first time so your first time boot might take a little bit longer it will get faster um, you know with the time and uh, well, we're just looking at the screen, as you can see, boom, we are in the beautiful, beautiful desktop of Ubuntu 15 Mate. Well done. here in system you can go to uh, the control or to the preferences you can go to um, um, administration and up here you will find the Ubuntu software store just grab the icon and pop it into the bottom bar you see that so it will be here the next time that you want to use it and in fact we're not gonna install any uh, dock or whatever only thing we're gonna do is just grab the little icons and put them there yes what we also gonna do is remove the Firefox icon from the taskbar and uh, if you're gonna start up Firefox you will see that here at the bottom the window that is open will come and not here on top you will clean get a keep a clean uh, top uh, top toolbar or however you call it start menu okay um, other stuff that you might also want to do if you're not the office is to um, yeah in fact here you have all the office libre office you can right mouse click it and uh, well in here we cannot uninstall it but in fact you can uninstall these all eh? i always do it in uh in in linux mint but peeps uh in fact uh i don't have to make this video any longer this is how to install uh ubuntu on a high-end uh system uh, laptop in this case uh, it could also be some tablet could also be well no, not tablets. Tablets with UEFI will give headache to install this. All right. So, yeah, I think this was a really cool video for people that never did this before and probably did it before but never knew that Ubuntu became such a beautiful system that one can use completely free. Well, peeps, that was it. I want to thank you for watching. Hope you liked this video. Because, in fact, we are musicians. You can also see it in our list. We also play music. Tomorrow we have another party. We're going to make some videos tomorrow. Yeah, huh? sure. <laughs> so we'll 
get you those uh, somewhere in, at Sunday. Thank you for watching for now. Um, go ahead, install Ubuntu, check it out. Uh, it's really fun to use, especially uh, if you want to create a machine for the internet, watching videos, watching YouTube, reading the news, you know, watching other sorts of sites, you know, this is the machine you need and nothing else. Peace, thanks again for watching. Till my next video, we say, see you. Bye-bye.